September 7th, 2011. There was nothing like it. My day began like most others. The alarm went off and I had to drag myself out of bed. Well, maybe I was a little more excited. This was the first time since preschool I had taken the bus. That day ended in tears for everyone. Certainly hope not. I was hoping today would be different, but uh, needless to say, to I Del drove Barton to school bus, that day. There I was, my first time in high school. This was my first time going to an all-boys school, or a Catholic high school for that matter. These first steps proved to be the most valuable I would take in my 15 years. It was my first time spending free periods preparing for one of Mr. Ross's tests. And my first time playing Mr. Ross as Jeopardy. What was Rome's main port of trade? Usia Ugia? Is that a question? No, it's Usia. No, Ostia. Fluvian Empire? No, Flavian Empire. The Vanagas. No, the Visigoths. Take potpourri for 500. You mean potpourri? My first time learning what it takes to be a competitive public speaker. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. No. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Are you sure I'm wrong? I feel like we're saying it the exact same way. No, we're not. <laughs> well? It was my first time operating professional theater equipment. Well, trying to. My first time playing in the high school jazz ensemble. first time staying at school until it was dark multiple times a week. And friends, they came too eventually. Del Barton gave me so much opportunity, what fool wouldn't take advantage of it? Looking back, it was good I did because it was then that planet Earth was invaded. It's gonna be a green wave of death! This is Paul Sign Bravo Lima Squadron Professor Task Form 1014 November. Over. I think we're gonna need to call in some heavy power. Over. Halo Ruby. That had to be the weirdest, most terrifying day of my life. But if there was one place I'd want to be when aliens attacked Earth, it would be Del Barton. Thank God for the green wave. <laughs>